up everybody welcome back to another episode of crafting with Catherine. in today's video we're going to be adding a zoo but before we do that we need to add some people to the farm name some horses and go to the art museum okay so we have luna galaxy deborah brownie chicken nugget princess bubblegum twinkle and potato now that the horses are named, let's go add some people to the farm. So we have Pink Gamer, and she already has overalls on! Look how cute her outfit is! Then we have Odd Fry, Katie Cat, Minecrafter Girl, Gryffindor Fan, and Faith Plays. Okay, so now that we've added some people and named some horses, let's go to the art museum. So this week we have some art from Cameron, Maria, Angel of Stars, Alice, Maddie, Paul Lower, Lizzie Waffle, Manuela, Love Kitney, and Pinky Bubbles. Now that we added all of the new art, let's go work on the zoo. Alright guys, so here is the zoo, and I have to say, this took a really long time, but I'm really happy with the way it came out, so if I fly up here, you can see how big this actually is. This area is packed with tons of exhibits for animals, but as we go towards the back, you guys can probably see that this looks a little bit empty and unfinished, and that's because I thought it'd be really fun to also have an aquarium, but I didn't want to do it in this episode because it just would have been way too long. So if you guys want to see an aquarium in the next episode, then let me know in the comments. Okay, so all of the structures for the zoo are pretty much done being built, and now all we really have to do is decorate and add a ton of animals. As you guys can tell, this is the entrance to the zoo, and when you first walk in, I have these little ticket booths on either side, so I found this really cute teller window, which I thought would be perfect for people to come buy their tickets. We can also add a sign under the window that says tickets, and we can charge people $10 to enter. Okay, so if we go down the stairs, I wanted to add a map of the zoo to either side of the entrance, so we can place a map on this side, and then we can place a map on this side. Look how cute that is! Now that we have the maps of the zoo all set up, I really want to start decorating the exhibits and adding animals. Let's see, we can put some monkeys over here, and then across we can add some gorillas. So let's start by decorating the monkey exhibit. Let's fill in this grass. I want to plant some jungle trees. Then I'm going to take some jungle wood and I want to make like a little branch coming off of these trees because I have a tire swing. Now I don't know if the monkeys will actually play on this, but if they do, that would be so cute. Let's just add some grass around here and then I think that's pretty much it. Maybe we can add some water over here. And now we can spawn in some monkeys, so let's add one here, right here, and another one over here. Look at their cute little faces! Hello little monkey! I think I might add some of these leaves under the swing. Whoa! <gasps> Whoa! Wait, why did it do that? Oh my god. How? How? How did it... Wait, but how? <gasps> oh my god! Okay, I did not know that the monkeys would actually climb like that, so we need to super seal this exhibit. Oh my god, stop. Stop. Get down. Nope. Oh. No! Okay, the monkey exhibit is now fully closed, and now we just need to put them back. Where did the other- Oh, <gasps> he's up there! Hey, dude! Hi, hi, hi. Come here. Good monkey. Okay. Now let's do the gorilla exhibit. I'm gonna clear out some of this land, though. Now I want to add some large rocks so we can have one over here. And we can add another one over here. Let's add some water. And then we can plant some jungle trees. 
Now after those monkeys escaped, I kind of don't trust the animals anymore, so I'm gonna make sure that I make all of this glass really tall. Now that I raised the glass, we can spawn in some gorillas. So let's put one over here and another one over here. So next to the gorillas, I wanna add some lions and tigers. So let's plant some trees and then we can add some dirt. Then we can add some water and I think that's pretty much it. So now let's spawn in a lion and a tiger. <gasps> Whoa, they're big. And there's a random lightning bug. Hello. <laughs> oh, look, he's taking a little bath. Should I make this bigger for you? There you go. Oh, you're so cute. Okay, now I wanna add some zebras and giraffes. So let's put them in here, but we need to clear out all of this dirt. Now that this area has been cleared out a bit, we can go ahead and plant some trees and grass. And then we can spawn a zebra and a giraffe. Whoa, these guys are huge. Now next to the giraffes, I wanna have some elephants. So let's go ahead and start by filling this area up with water. And then I also wanna swap out some of this grass with dirt. Now let's plant a tree and spawn in some elephants. So let's put an elephant over here. Whoa, I was not expecting it to be that big. Okay, so I think we only have room for two in this pen. So, oh my God, it's a baby. And it ran to its mommy. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. Guys, the craziest thing just happened. After I put these elephants in their exhibit, um, I turned around and all of the past ones that we just did were empty. Like literally all the animals died. And I was so confused. The mod that I'm using requires you to feed the animals and I did not know that. So I guess I just accidentally killed all the animals, but don't worry, I did um, spawn them back in. Now I know that I have to actually feed the animals to keep them alive. All right, so let's go work on the meerkat exhibit. They're gonna be going right in here. I wanna get rid of some of this grass and replace it with dirt. Then we can add some small logs and a larger log. So now we can spawn in some meerkats and I have this book now where, oh, they're digging in the ground, hello. If I click on them, it'll tell me what they eat. So we can tame them with frog kibble. Okay, so let's feed this one. There we go, and then we can feed this one, and then we can feed this one. And just to make sure they don't die, there's a barrel that you can fill with food so that they can eat on their own in case you're not nearby to feed them. Next, we can work on the red panda exhibit. Let's add a log, and then we can add a ball for the red pandas to play with. And now we can spawn in some red pandas. So we'll have one, two, three. And now, what do you guys eat? They eat bear kibble, okay. So let's feed you. I think I'm gonna put their barrel back here and then we can fill it up with their food. Oh my gosh, they're all laying next to each other. <gasps> you guys are so cute. So next to the red pandas, I wanna have polar bears. So we need to make this exhibit a little bit colder. So we can add some ice and then we can cover the ground with snow. Now let's add a ball for the polar bears to play with. And then we can spawn in a polar bear over here and over here. Okay, so let's feed you, and we'll feed you. Okay, next we can work on the hippos, and they're gonna be going over in this exhibit. I didn't even touch this place yet, and it already looks like a pretty good spot for a hippo. I'm just gonna fill up the spots that don't have grass, then maybe we can plant a tree, and we can add a ball for them to play with. Now let's spawn a hippo over here. And now let's spawn another one over here. And we'll feed you some food. Yay! This looks like it could be a problem. Let's make this taller. I think I'm gonna block this section off. And then this can be where the barrel of food goes. Okay, now across from the hippos over here, I wanna have kangaroos and koala bears. So the first thing I wanna do is get rid of some of the grass and replace it with coarse dirt. Now we can plant a tree right about here. And we could also add a ball for them to play with. Now let's just bone meal the grass a bit. And now we can spawn in some koalas. <gasps> They're so tiny. What do you guys eat? You eat monkey kibble. Okay, so let's feed you guys. 
And let's put the barrel of food over here in the corner. And now over here, we can spawn in some kangaroos. <gasps> Whoa! And what do you guys eat? Oh, they eat like that wheat stuff. Okay, let's feed you. And we'll feed you. And now let's put third barrel of food over here. The koalas are just like slowly walking around. <laughs> I feel like we should add one more kangaroo. So let's put one over here. Oh, this one is a different color than the other ones. You're cute. Okay, now it's time for the reptile section and we're gonna have tree frogs, snakes, iguanas, and crocodiles. Let's put the tree frogs over in this exhibit. So let's plant two trees here and here. Maybe we can add a little section of water back here. And now let's spawn in a bunch of tree frogs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my gosh, they climb on the walls? That's so cute. All right, what did these guys eat? Frog kibble, duh. Okay, so let's feed you, and we need to feed you, and you. Now that they're all fed, let's put the barrel of food over here. Okay, now on the other side of the tree frogs, let's add some snakes. For the snakes, I think I'm just gonna fill this entire area up with coarse dirt. Then we can add some logs over here. Maybe one can go over here. And we can add some dead bushes. Let's also make a water spot back here. And I don't know if snakes play with balls, but we can give them one. And now let's spawn in some snakes. Yeah, look at them wiggling around. Okay, now next to the snakes, we can have some crocodiles. So let's dig out a spot for some water. And then we could fill it up. Let's plant a tree over here. And then we can add some vines to it so it looks a little swampy. And then we can spawn one over here. Oh, this one's white. That's cool. And we can spawn another one over here. Now you guys eat crocodile kibble. So let's feed you. And we gotta feed you. And we'll put their food barrel over here. Now on the other side of the crocodiles, we can have iguanas. So we can start by planting a tree over here. Then we can add some dirt, some logs, and then we can add some water over here. Let's add a toy. And now we can spawn in some iguanas. So we can put, ooh, you're pretty. Okay, so we have that one there. Let's have another one here, another one here, and another one over here. Now that all the animals have been placed in their exhibits outside, there's actually one more exhibit that I'm gonna have inside. And that's this building right in the center of the zoo right here. It has double doors because this is going to be the space for the bird and butterfly exhibit. Okay, so I wanna add some of these framed walls so that we can make bird perches. So we can have one over here and maybe we can put another one over on this side. Then we can add some bird baths in the corners. So let's put one there and another one over here. Maybe we can put some sticks on the ground. And now we can spawn in some birds and butterflies. So we have the cockatoo. <gasps> oh, how pretty. We have a macaw. <gasps> Always like a little parrot. Hi. And we also have a toucan. And now let's spawn in some butterflies. I'm pretty sure these guys will eat like bird food or something, but let's see. Yep, it says bird kibble. Okay, I'm pretty sure I fed all the birds, so now let's add a barrel of food to each entrance to the exhibit. So we'll add some food to this one and to this one. Now that all the animals have been added to the zoo, there's only a few more things we have to do, like add some bathrooms, a cafe, and decorate the gift shop. Okay, so on either side of the cafe and the gift shop, we have bathrooms. So we can add a little water cooler in between both bathrooms so people can get a drink. We can make this side the girls' bathroom, so let's just go in here. And we can add a toilet, a sink, and some toilet paper. And then we'll add a door. Now let's go on the other side to the boys' bathroom. We'll add some water in the middle. And again, we'll have a toilet, a sink, some toilet paper, and now we can just add the bathroom signs. Now for the cafe, let's go ahead inside here and add some counters. Then we can have some soda machines, some vending machines. We can add some blenders for smoothies. And then we can add some item frames to display food. Now we can add some tables and chairs so people can sit and eat. There we go. 
Now that the cafe is done, let's go work on the gift shop. Okay, so here's the gift shop. Now let's go inside and we definitely need to add some lights in here because it is super dark. Let's put a counter in the middle of the store. That way we can add a register. Now we can add some shelves and fill them up with plushies. So we have an elephant, a sea turtle, a tiger, a lion, a gorilla, and a monkey. We can pretend somebody's buying a lion plushie and then I wanna decorate this back wall with animal pictures. Now all we need is a door and the gift shop is done. Now let's do the bathrooms that are on either side of the gift shop. So we have the girls' bathrooms, and now we have the boys' bathrooms. So across from the bathrooms and the gift shop, I put a little refreshment stand right here just in case people are hungry or thirsty. So let's go ahead and add a vending machine and a soda machine. All right guys, so the zoo is finally done. Now let's go on a tour. So this is the entrance, and when you go in, you'll be able to buy some tickets. Then when you go down these stairs, you have three options, so you can go straight to the birds and butterfly exhibit, or you can take the side paths to see some other animals. Let's start by going left. So over here we have some monkeys, we have some gorillas, then we have some tigers and lions, and if the animals aren't in the front of the exhibit, I actually made a path in each corner of the zoo so you can kind of go in between two exhibits. So on this side you can see the gorillas, and over here you can see the tigers and lions. Then if we keep going this way, this is the cafe and the bathrooms. And over here we have the red pandas. Then if we go back this way and we walk past the cafe and the bird and butterfly exhibit, over here we have some snakes. Then if we keep walking this way, we have the kangaroos and koalas. Over here we have some tree frogs. Then there's some iguanas over here. And then over here we have some hippos. Then on the other side of the iguanas, we have some crocodiles. Then there's the refreshment stand and the gift shop. And then if we keep walking this way, you'll see some polar bears, meerkats, zebras and giraffes, and elephants. Then if you walk towards the center of the zoo, you'll find the birds and butterfly exhibit. All right guys, well that's gonna be it for this episode. If you wanna be part of the zoo, then leave your Minecraft username in the comment section below. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you next time. Bye.